Another climbing system I like to use is uh, to attach my actual uh, friction hitch to an access line. That way, uh, should anything happen, I can be lowered with the access line. Now, I don't have it set up properly here. I just have it for demonstration. But uh, basically, I have a pressic with a point that I could uh, pulley, frictionless attachment point, I could put my system through. Gauge the uh, height there, make it just about as long as I would a Prusik. Foot lock the uh, single strand here to the desired height. Where I get to where I want to be, I make a stopper knot. Uh, a lot of people use an alpine butterfly, I'm just going to use a slip knot. And then I can uh, climb off my system and the uh, tying point will follow me and I will get the benefit as if I was tied in at the very, uh, the very top. And then when I'm done working that lower portion, I simply go back to it, reach up, undo the um, spike and foot lock up higher to where I want to be and repeat the same thing until I get to the top. Now there's another little variation of this called the secret weapon which carries a one specific little benefit uh, that not I was taught to use because I think uh, the Voltaine without the tress uh, at least six wraps That's enough here. Now, this behaves in almost exactly the same way. Do the same thing. Foot lock up to the desired height. Spike it off. Put a carabiner in there just to, uh, just to ensure there's no slippage. Work the tree off this uh, in the floating anchor point. Now, benefit that this carries is let's say I want to go, I want to have a different tying point. I can actually retrieve this with the retrieval ball through that smaller ring. I can retrieve it remotely and now use this as a friction saver, say over a different branch somewhere else in another crotch or another tree or whatever and be able to retrieve that and then they still have the access line if somebody needs to come up and sort of retrace my footsteps to get me. Your, uh, your anchor point is above you, just need something easier to grip below it. So. What I came up with was adding a full-on frog walker system to the equation. I don't have to worry about uh, a sender failure, well you always have to worry about a sender failure, but uh, in this particular scenario my lifeline or my tying point is above the ascenders. The ascenders are just helping me get up there. I like to use the lanyard, keep it somewhat close to me. Get your pantheon in. Make sure you can easily push your floating anchor and then it's your desired length. Put in your foot strap and then from here on out, just like a regular frog walking system.
Now I'm at the desired height. Lay back in the system. Take my lanyard off. Now, having a sender here, I could use this to actually spike off the system. I don't want to use the tooth part so much. But I can use the carabiner part. Take off the foot ascender here. Clip that in. Now this can back that up. Now I don't have that clunky uh, sender with me. And then from there, free to move about. Just like a regular climbing system.